Don't tell me you're manually processing foreign exchange denominated order cancellations. We're in the 21st century. Welcome to CurrencyCast. My name is Augustine McKinley. I'm the senior financial writer at Cantox and your host. In this episode, we discuss how currency managers can use automated solutions to handle order cancellations, an important part of the FX workflow. This episode is sponsored by BNP Paribas, the bank for a changing world. It is no secret that the wave of cancellations following COVID-19 imposed travel restrictions was a nightmare for airlines, hotel chains and tour operators alike. Largely due to cancellations, air traffic plummeted in 2021 in Europe to less than half pre-pandemic levels. The problem is not confined to the travel industry. Studies show that about $430 billion worth of goods are returned every year in the United States alone. Given the amount of resources involved, companies are scared by the ghost of cancellations. All those fears are warranted, well, not when it comes to currency management. This is because currency management automation solutions provides companies with the tools to minimize the PL impact of order cancellations. Now let's see how that's done. Currency management is a process done in three phases, the pre-trade, the trade, and the post-trade phase. Cancellations are an important element of the pre-trade phase when the exposure to currency risk is collected and processed. The Nefex denominated cancelled order diminishes the firm's exposure if the corresponding hedge has not been executed or if it can be closed out at the same rate. Otherwise, there would be a situation of overhedging. Manually adjusted hundreds or even thousands of individual pieces of exposure to the corresponding hedges can be an impossibly complicated task. To tackle the ghost of cancellations, currency management automation provides two lines of defense. The first line of defense is to include, as part of the business rules defined in the process of automation, an automatic cancellation rate. So for example, if managers set a 10% cancellation rate, the software solution will hedge 90% of the corresponding exposure. As time goes by and more information becomes available, that particular cancellation rate can be refined and adjusted. While it's good practice to try and anticipate events, perfect accuracy cannot be expected in matters related to cancellations. That's why a second line of defense is provided by what we call negative entries, a more powerful way of dealing with cancellations. Let's see how that works. An entry is an individual piece of exposure to currency risk. As part of the automation process, currency managers define rules for the aggregation of such pieces of exposure. These instructions include a rule for setting negative entries from their own ERP in the event of order cancellations. API transmitted negative entries automatically cancel the corresponding FX exposure. But what happens if a negative entry is pushed after the corresponding currency hedge has been executed. Not much. When many transactions are involved, new entries are constantly generated with the same value date and same currency pair. The solution then matches hedges and transactions. As in other aspects of currency management, perfect end-to-end traceability is a key requirement here. Automated currency hedging programs treat all the cancellations as an integral part of the pre-trade phase of the workflow. The ability to quickly process them can set you apart from your competitors. If your aim is to seriously tackle the problem while relieving the finance team from resource-intensive manual tasks, currency management automation is your starting point. Thanks to BNP Paribas for sponsoring this episode.